The new Lucky Tiles event is packed with multiple fun opportunities to get huges as well as other goodies. But like with other events in Pet Sim, there are a few things that you can do to increase your chances of getting this huge as well as other loot. Because of that, I've spent the past 24 hours grinding this new event to figure out which enchants are best, what pets you should use, and more. So in this video, I will be showing you the ultimate setup for maximizing the amount of tile shuffles that you get as well as maximizing your chances at this huge besides that there's also a lot of false rumors going around about how this event actually works so hopefully i can clear up some of those misconceptions for you guys as well and if this video helps you out give it a like and subscribe for more pet sim content as well as joining my discord down in the description below where i do daily huge giveaways as well as have a helpful community that can answer whatever pet sim questions you have but let's just hop right into how this event actually works all right you guys so here we are in the rave world and there are a couple important things that you should probably know starting off with the fact that there is actually three free to play huges that you can get from this new event world so that is very important to distinguish and the good news is that you can actually get all three of these huges by just doing the same thing so this setup and tips that i'm about to show you in this video will help you to get all three of these huges you guys just have to bear with me because this could really be a yap fest now like i said there are three different methods for getting huges out of this event now the most common huge that is actually dropping from this event world and probably the one you have the highest chance of getting is actually this huge uv kitsune now in order to get this huge all you have to do is grind in this final area and then stand on one of these tiles and once this little board hits 500 breakables you are going to have a chance at getting a randomized tile that's going to give you a huge as you can see here it is a big scam it is definitely difficult to get one of these huges i still have not gotten one yet but but essentially that is all you have to do in order to get this huge now the second huge is actually in this egg right here so it's the huge uv cat now this one actually looks really cool and I've definitely been trying to get this one as well. And this huge UV cat is actually an event huge which is actually very good for you guys who are free to play players because that means no game passes or enchants actually increase your odds at getting this. So everybody has the same chance. Now the beautiful thing about this is that they actually put it in the middle of the disco floor so you can actually open this egg constantly while also grinding these lucky tiles. Now we're getting another chance at the huge here so let's see what we can get and of course we get a lucky egg seven potions <laughs> But anyways, I think you guys understand what I mean. So you could essentially grind this floor and stand on a tile while opening this egg. Now it doesn't need to be one of these tiles around it. It can actually be quite far because you can walk away once you have your auto hatch going. So you could walk over here. You could pretty much go, I think like over to this square and choose any of these squares and you're still gonna be opening the egg. So make sure you are doing this because the odds to actually get this huge UV cat aren't that bad at all. I have those odds on the screen here for you guys to see but essentially it's a 1 in 16.7 million chance which when you just hear that number at first it doesn't sound like it's that good but this is similar odds to the huge avenging griffin and the huge evil imp from the last update odds for this huge uv cat are actually slightly better than the odds were for those good versus evil huges so so it is most definitely worth it that you open this egg constantly while grinding for this other stuff and then the third and final option for getting a huge actually is in these rave gifts. So inside the rave gift here, you can see there's actually the rave troll. And it's also probably the hardest to get because there are the lowest amount in existence. Now I'll have the odds on the screen here, but on average, it's going to take you 2,770 rave gifts in order to get this huge. So the odds are pretty low, but either way, that still is another chance at a free huge. So this is probably one of the most free to play friendly events that we've had in pretty much forever in pet sim now i'm sure you guys want to see the enchant loadout that i'm using to actually grind this area the fastest but honestly some of the other tips that aren't related to the enchants are probably even more important than whatever your enchant setup is which leads me into my first tip which as you can see i'm on a public server and that's because i'm actually grinding on a public server with all of my accounts you can see i have three of my grinding accounts right here 
as well as another friend. And the reason for this is that actually having friends in your server doesn't take away from your drops at all because you're not going to be able to clear this area with just your pets anyways. So being in a public lobby or a private server with your friends actually does speed up how fast you can clear this board. So I definitely suggest you guys just sit in a public lobby or get a private server and have all of your accounts in there as well as your friends. Now another false rumor that I do see going around the community quite a bit is that the odds to get this huge are a 1 in 80 chance. Now initially when the update did come out I did think this was true as well because there is 80 tiles here and every time you see the board shuffle there is one huge in it which logically does add up that it should be a 1 in 80 chance to get this huge but that is actually not the case. Now I can't tell you guys exactly how this board is coded but essentially what big games did when designing this disco area is that they made all of these tiles essentially kind of just randomized and they don't actually show an accurate picture of what those tiles would be if you actually landed on them what actually happens when you play the game is that when you stand on a tile only your tile is the one that gets randomized. Now, this mini game is very similar to something that you would see in a casino environment or maybe even an arcade. They like to show you the rewards around you just so it encourages you to keep playing and potentially get that big reward. So it's the same kind of deal with the huge. Now, I'm not necessarily saying this is a bad thing. Just don't get your hopes too high because it isn't a one out of 80 chance because realistically that would be kind of ridiculous because I'd say in like a given hour you can go through 30 shuffles of this board which means that on average it would take you about like two and a half hours to get each huge and clearly everybody that has been grinding with multiple accounts can attest that they are not getting a huge on each account every two and a half hours which means that the chances are truly a lot higher than it might look on the board which I don't think is a problem because we do have three different methods methods of actually getting this huge and if we look here at the huge uv kitsune this actually already has 17,500 in existence in just a day which is absolutely insane that means that a lot of people are actually getting this huge and you guys do have a good chance to get it for yourselves now i did warn you that was a lot of yapping about absolutely nothing so i'm sorry about that but let's just get right into the enchant loadout now your enchant loadout is actually very important because there are a lot of enchants that absolutely do nothing Nothing, so it's important that you only use the ones that are actually helpful now currently from testing six different loadouts multiple times in a row and keeping track of how long it took me to cycle through a reshuffle this is actually the fastest loadout that I've come across so far now you guys did request more appearances of cat so here she is she was just clawing at my door while I was trying to explain to you the enchants so here she is in all of her glory she is not very happy with me picking her up so I'm gonna put her back down but yeah if you want to see more of her i'm actually going to be live streaming tomorrow on twitch so if you want to come by to at least see cat the twitch link will be down in the description below so i hope to see you guys there but i'll move my face here so i can show you guys this loadout now what this does require is actually having auto tap because if you are going to be opening the egg, there's just not a really efficient way to be tapping the board. So this loadout right here really does require you to be using auto tap. Now, if you don't have auto tap, I would assume you only have about five enchant slots anyways. So I would just use these five right here. So the super magnet, happy pets, two speed fives, and an explosive. So if you don't have auto tap and you only have five enchant slots, that would be a good loadout for you. But with this setup, you actually destroy breakables. So I definitely suggest suggest this for some reason large taps actually does stack in this game mode for whatever reason it's really weird but it actually is pretty good for destroying breakables to get this lucky tiles thing down now what actually doesn't work in this game mode are the damage enchants so for some reason criticals doesn't work strong pets doesn't work even exotic pet didn't work for me for some reason so definitely don't waste your enchant slots on these because there is a weird little damage cap that does not allow these to work but all of these ones right here i have tested and do work and this is the most efficient version of this setup that i found so far i even tried out using a build with lightning orbs as well as nightmare orbs and both of these absolutely suck but the thing is even with this loadout right here i was only able to shave off about 10 to 15 seconds off my time which kind of does add 
up if you are going to be grinding for the next week but i think in the grand scheme of things the enchant loadout really doesn't matter all that much you're not going to be completely screwed if you don't have the perfect loadout but trust me when i do say this one saves you quite a bit of time so this is what i would go with if i were you guys now another really important factor that you guys should be using when grinding this area is actually your ultimate so obviously a damage dealing ultimate is going to help you out a ton now in this game mode i've tested out all of these enchants on this new area to see which one actually helps me break breakables the best and there was a clear winner with this competition and that would be the tsunami ultimate i had to pull my pets out of storage so i could actually charge up this ultimate but i'll show you guys in a second this thing absolutely clears breakables from this area so i would definitely go ahead and purchase this if i were you guys it's only 30 million which is kind of expensive, I guess. But another option, if you don't want to spend this much, you can also get the UFO ultimate, which is actually kind of good as well for this. But I definitely think the Tsunami is better, and you guys will see in a second why. All right, so the Tsunami ultimate is charged up. Just make sure that you're using the ultimate after the timer's done. So make sure that the breakables that you're actually breaking do count. So when I use this ultimate, you guys will see this massive wave that comes through and destroys absolutely all the breakables in front of it. And this is why this is the best ultimate for this mission because because it destroys the most breakables out of all the other ultimates and this isn't even the fully upgraded tsunami so i definitely suggest buying one of these and upgrading it fully it's actually very good for these types of events that require you to just be destroying breakables now moving on probably the most complicated feature about this new event world are actually the pets so a really important factor that you guys must know when doing this event is that only the stat pets from this world actually affect how much damage you're going to be doing to these breakables. Now that might be very confusing for you guys, but let me explain. Essentially what I mean is that my damage that I'm doing in this world is actually not based on whatever my best stat pet is. It's based on whatever my best stat pet is from this world. So my damage actually isn't based off of this warrior wolf that has 15.5 trillion power. It's instead being based off this UV Kitsune, which has 15.1 trillion. Now I hopped over to a private server so I can actually demonstrate this for you guys because I didn't even believe it when I first saw it. So for demonstration purposes, I'm going to pull out my rainbow happy rock with all of these charms on it so that we can see the damage. Now we're going to pay attention to how much damage it does to these types of breakables so it's consistent. So if we head over here, you can see I'm doing 2.61k damage to this breakable right here. Now if I go into my inventory and box up what my actual best stat pet is, which is is this 15.5 trillion warrior wolf you'll see that after i put it away and pull my huge back out i'm still doing 2.61k damage to these breakables now if i go ahead and do the exact same thing but actually box up my best rave pet you'll see that my damage actually does change so here i'm putting in my uv kitsunes so that we can test this out pull out the rainbow huge and we could see that when i'm hitting the breakable i'm actually doing 2.49 thousand damage now so my damage is actually changing because i put away that rave pet so essentially the rave stat pets are the only thing you're going to want to buy in order to do more damage now if i take these kasunes back out of the box and see what the damage is it should go back to 2.61k only the stat pets from this world affect the amount of damage that you do in this world so if you guys want to be as efficient as possible make sure you have this stat pet and not one of these stat pets because this actually isn't going to be better than this this actually isn't going to do anything for you and this one is actually a lot cheaper thankfully so you guys could go ahead and buy this for very cheap right now there actually is one stat pet that is better than this and it's the rainbow shiny version of this amiibo in a spaceship now i believe at the time of recording this there's only about 50 of these things in existence and the wrap value is like 400 million for one of them so i definitely don't think it's worth it but if you guys wanted to do even more damage this is the pet you should get for now though i am perfectly fine with this 15.1 trillion power pet because i am going through this area pretty quick now my last really important fact that you guys should probably know about this area which is probably somehow one of the weirdest facts about this area is that rainbow huges actually do more than both the gold and shiny huges and as you guys know shiny huges should be better than rainbow huges that's how it has worked for like the past six months so for whatever reason it is not working in this area and i'll demonstrate it to you guys really quickly so again i'll pull out this rainbow huge pet so you can 
see I do 2.61k damage to these breakables. Now, if I put away this rainbow huge and pull out a shiny huge with the exact same charms on it, you'll see that I actually do only 1.95k to these breakables for whatever reason. Honestly, I don't know why this is, but you could test this with all types of huges. We could even test this with lower level rainbow and shiny huges. You'll see that with this, I do 2.61k with only this level 49 rainbow bison. But if I pull out this shiny version of it, you'll see that I only do 1.95k. So if you really wanted to maximize how fast you go through this area, you should be using rainbow huges instead of shiny huges if you are at that level. And another really weird fact is that these shiny huges actually do the exact same amount as gold huges so as you can see i'm doing 1.95k here and if i pull out one of my golden huges they are doing the exact same amount to these breakables for whatever reason so for some reason in this event world the rainbow huges actually do do more but the gold and shiny version of huges do the same amount of damage which is still better than regular huges even from testing which indirectly also means that none of the charms or the level on your huges actually play a role in how how much more damage you do to these breakables again all of that is really weird but that's essentially all i wanted to show you for this video by following the setup as well as all of the tips i gave you in this video you'll be able to clear this area as fast as possible which in turn will give you more chances at getting the huge from these tiles as well as getting the rave gift bags which also gives you a chance at a huge and you can do all of that while opening this egg to get the huge uv cat so if this video did help you out remember to give it a like and subscribe for more I'll see you guys in the next video and peace out.